Welcome back to 3D Printing News, a place we talk all things 3D. Our first story, wouldn't it be nice to know if you failed, to be able to save time and money? Well, Canadian manufacturer Concept3D thinks that they have just done that. The new printer, the Athena, boasts a 10.1 inch 8K LCD screen, a printing area of 219 by 123 by 245, and an XY resolution of 0 0.0285, or 28.5 microns. All of that feels like standard stuff. The cool part is a new system they're calling the Force Sensor. It works to boost print reliability and accuracy via real-time fault detection and failure prevention. It can leverage peel detection, crash detection, resin level detection, fail detection, and dynamic wait time calibration. The Athena is currently on Kickstarter, so if you're interested, pull out your checkbook. Our next story, DIY, or do it yourself. It's the name of the game in 3D printing. We're constantly innovating and creating because we can. Most people only think of FDM DIY machines, so today we're gonna take a look at a couple of resin printers. Roby One is an open source DLP 3D printer with an easy to follow guide on Instructables. It's a project that others have replicated, so when other patients and tweaking, you can have one yourself. The printer's 20x20 20 20 aluminum frame differentiate it from many all-plastic DIY projects and includes an emphasis on ventilation fans to keep harmful vapors away from the maker. A quick slideshow of the needed parts is on YouTube and each part that can be 3D printed has been compiled on a Thingiverse page with only 12 files. Next, let's talk about the Prometheus. It's a Raspberry Pi based with an open source motherboard and many 3D printed parts. It has an impressive build volume of 298 by 164 by 350. In addition to the regular GitHub files, there's a five minute YouTube guide that walks you through the assembly of the suggested components. It started in late 2022 and it's still being improved upon with the most recent update happening of May, 2023. DIY baby, never gets old. Our next story, new printers. Company Elegoo, Elego? I don't care, they're making printers for us. We have the Saturn 3 and the Neptune 4. They are officially available for pre-order right now. But what are they? First, let's talk the Saturn 3. It's a series of MSLA Mono 3D printers. Most of the information that Elegoo has released is focused on the Ultra, although both printers will feature an eyebrow raising 12K resolution, matching the resolution of any Cubics recently announced Photo Mono M5S. It's a number that may be extreme for hobbyist purposes, but will, depending on the yet to be revealed X accuracy, produce highly detailed models. Now let's talk about the Neptune 4. It's a series of FDM printers, which arrives in regular and pro editions, like we've seen before. Like the Saturn 3 series, Elegoo's Tease is mostly pro focus. Both printers, however, will run on Clipper firmware. You know we love Clipper. Speed is the name of the game for the Neptune 4 Pro, with Elegoo promising it to be 10 times faster than previous machines, with a maximum printing speed of 500 millimeters per second. I love talking printers. That's all the time we have today. Back to you, Bob.